My name's Sam Polk. I'm one of the assistant chiefs with Henry County Fire Rescue in McDonough, Georgia, just south of the city of Atlanta. This is our uh, new 107 foot Pierce Ascendant Aerial on an Enforcer chassis. This is one of the first aerials that we've had that was built specifically for our department, uh, has a build to order specifications. One of the things in the cab that we sought for or, or we were looking for was for our drivers to have uh, ease of use and not really have to go to, through a lot of panels for switches, for controls, not have much to distract them. So we specifically laid out how this was, what we wanted the driver to have access to, and things that the driver shouldn't be distracted um, by whenever they're operating the truck. Here in the back, pretty standard for the Enforcer chassis. One of the things that we are having put into this truck is we carry body armor for our rescue task force for dangerous events. That will actually be up here. Body armor storage where the body armor lays flat as it's supposed to be. We wanted to have a pump on, the, uh, on our sticks, but we wanted to also optimize as much space as possible when Pierce came to us and said, hey, we have the pump under cab, the puck model, we found that as a great opportunity to be able to enhance our storage space. So with that, in this compartment where we have our cross lays here, we'll also have storage that goes all the way through uh, to the other side where we'll be able to put our backboards and other equipment that will save us space in other areas. This is actually the first apparatus that we've had where the pump panel is actually behind a door. It's not open. Saves the controls from getting exposed to weather and all, all the time. For us, we don't necessarily have extreme temperature issues in Georgia. We get cold, we get hot, we get very hot actually. But this is gonna save, hopefully save some of these controls for over time. Again, coming to the back, one of the things we've, we did put in our aerials that, um, with these builds has been an, an installed toolbox. Rather than having um, toolboxes that don't really fit the equipment that we need to carry in them, or we have to have multiple pieces of tool, or multiple toolboxes, we have these built into the trucks. Gives, our, gives us good storage space and takes the mo takes, uh, makes the most of our space. On this, on this truck, we have the 10 foot uh, folding ladder, our roof ladders, as well as uh, our pike poles and hooks. 35 foot two section and a 28 foot two section. This truck will primarily be in a residential area. So they're dealing mostly with houses, not many high rise structures in this area. You also have just an open cabinet here for storage. We did elect to not have a ladder up this side of the aerial, again, to give us more storage space. This truck is actually going to have to be able to function as an extrication, to do extrication. We wanted more, more space to have extrication equipment and tools. All of our extrication equipment on this truck will actually be battery operated, so there's no hydraulic reels or anything like that that we have to have on it. That comes on our uh, larger heavy rescues. We wanted to be able to mount tools, to be able to hold them in place and hold them proper. To give more surface area, we added the pull-out tool board. Doubles or almost triples the area, surface area that we'll be able to mount tools to. Again, storage areas. This is actually for the driver's uh, SCBA. Uh, to have a, uh, a, a secure storage place that's not taking up a lot of space in cabinets on the outside of the truck. Again, moving through, we have pretty much standard compartmentation here. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. And again, we have the opposite side of the area over the cross lay, over the puck. Thank you for doing the walk around with our unit today. I would like to express my thanks to our county management as well as our board of commissioners for their support. Um, over the last few years, we've made a huge uh, 
uh, investment into our apparatus fleet that's making a dramatic di difference for us to be able to serve the citizens of our county. And we'd like to thank for our partnership with 10-8 and Pierce um, in working with us to, fit, to help increase our capabilities with our fleet. Thank you. <laughs>